So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Workshop number three. Today is May 19th, 2022. And welcome everybody to this. And so first, first thing, I just want to um, kind of like the previous week is to give you a an overview of um, what we'll be doing. So that, and that would be, okay, which one is it? I just have to find the right slide for it. Yep, this one is it. Okay, great. So this is our, agenda for this workshop. So we're going to do the welcome check-in and then uh, presence meditation. And then this time we've been doing first just feeling energy and then feeling the energy on our body. And now we're going to actually um, go right into the body and move the energy within our body. So this is what we'll be focusing on today. And um, I don't know how um, how much we can cover. If we have time, then I would definitely um, go into working with controllers. This is all part of moving energy within our body. So I will kind of tell you what controllers or review what controllers are, because controllers are something that I've talked about in previous um, in the pod, during a podcast. And then last but not least, we'll do a group clearing. So, and now let's go back to just checking in. So let me know if you have any comments or any um, experience you want, you want to share in terms of questions, in terms of what I've covered so far, um, especially from last week is how, like when you've been practicing on your own, um, how do you feel about moving energy from your heart, like all around the body and all that? So any questions, comments, anything you want to share? Floor is open. Oh, sorry. You guys can uh, unmute yourself. Unmute, you yeah. To. Yeah, for me, just I'm going to repeat what I said to you earlier. I um, I went for uh, hiking and then a little bit of uh, walk the wilderness and um, sat down and I just did a little bit of clearing and also um, uh, practicing with the energy movement from my heart to my arms and my body and then uh, I grounded myself with, uh, with Mother Earth and also with the trees around me. And it was a really a beautiful feeling and a beautiful um, sensation. And I just really felt uh, absolutely one with uh, uh, the nature, the trees and uh, my surroundings. So it was, it was really beautiful. Thank you. Okay, well, you're welcome. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else would like to have any comments, questions? I've explained everything so well and no questions. <laughs> okay, in that that's in that case, and let's move on to today's material then. Okay. Oh no, actually we we are going to do the um, presence meditation first. Okay, wonderful. So let's do that now. So um, take a deep breath in. And let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go. Take one more deep breath in. And let it all go. OK, 
continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And with the intention of allowing your breathing to be rhythmic. Rhythmic meaning that if you tick two counts to breathe in, then two counts to breathe out as well. If you're taking three counts to breathe in, then allow your breathe out to be three counts as well so that you are creating a rhythm with your own breathing. Whatever is comfortable for you is perfectly okay for this presence meditation. So just allow your breathing to take care of itself. You know how to breathe. You've been breathing all your life. So now just set the intention to allow your breath to be rhythmic. And as you breathe in every time, set the intention to call back all of your energies to yourself. During the day, we send our attention out to people we love or the work that we are doing or just to our environment. So now is the time to call back all of your attention to be with you in this moment. All of your attention come all the way back into your heart. And use your breathing to assist you in this so that as you breathe in, it is like imagine you're breathing back in and sucking back in all of your own energy back inside your body. And after you call back all of your attention and energy, also call back all parts of yourself to you. You have a physical body. You also have a non-physical body. Sometimes your non-physical body, or at least part of your non-physical body, likes to go for a vacation, somewhere to visit friends that are far away. Whatever the reasons may be, part of your soul may decide to go and venture out to explore. For now, just call back all parts of yourself. Like all parts of your earth soul, all parts of your cosmic soul. You just allow yourself to be in this moment. Just focus on whatever it is that's happening inside you and immediately around you. Just in this moment, whatever you can feel, whatever you can be aware of in this moment, just focus on those things. And when you've done that, then come all the way back into the room and you can open your eyes and we can begin. Okay, welcome back everybody. I am going to do a share screen now just to go over what we're going to do next now. We're going to work with moving energy within our body. 
So before moving energy though, the first thing I would like to do is actually just to guide you all to feel how it feels to collect energy inside one of your organ. Because after that, we're going to use our intention to move energy from one organ to another. So let's just practice one thing is, and that is just to collect energy in our heart first. So very easy. We all know where our heart is. It's kind of in the middle of our chest, a little bit to the left. So if you, if it may be more um, easy for you to do is just lightly touch your heart. And then now just with intention, because wherever your, your attention is, that's where your energy will go. So just put your focus and your attention on your heart. And do that while you are breathing normally. So just imagine that you are collecting energy into your heart. So just breathe in. And every time you breathe in, you set the intention of sending your energy into your heart. And just do this for a couple of breaths until you actually feel that your heart seems to have a little bit of weight over it because you're gathering energy and energy, even though energy, you cannot see it, but you can feel it. When you collect enough energy, we feel a little bit of, it feels like weight, even though there is hardly anything that, uh, there's hardly anything there. It's all just energy. Okay, so everybody feel that yet? Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. Good. Now I want you to just play. So this play now is to move your, uh, your energy that is in your heart because you have collected some energy in your heart now. So I want you to move that energy from your heart into your stomach. The stomach is just um, below. Okay, below your heart, like just underneath your rib cage, just when you, when you touch that, there is that opening and then your rib cage opening, that's where your stomach is. So send the energy from your heart into your stomach area. Touch the stomach area and then just send energy there. You feeling a little weight there yet? Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Now let's um, I'm gonna pull up. I'm going to um, pull up this image so you can you guys can see. And um, this is the image I want to show you. So this is an image of all the major organs within our body. So let's use this as our map to play. So we have, what we've done is we've moved energy from the heart, 
into the stomach area. Okay, so let's now try to move the energy. Let's go back to the heart first. So let's just kind of gather some energy in your heart first. And when you have, when you feel a little bit of weight, like something is lightly resting on your heart, and you know that you have gathered enough energy. So move that now to the liver. Liver is to the right of your body, just underneath the heart. Just focus on feeling the energy moving away from your heart and into in the, more or less the right side of your body, approximately where your liver is. So far, so good, everybody. Any questions so far? Anybody not getting this? Um, I, feel, I feel warmness. Should I feel something else? No, that is perfect. You're moving energy, so that's why you're feeling something. I don't know if it's so much I can feel it moving, but I can feel it when I put my hand wherever it is. I can feel energy under my hand, but I, I, I don't, I can't, I don't, can't distinguish my energy moving from my heart to some other place. I oh. just know energy under my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can feel it moving like right across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I do that sometimes when I feel it. It's an energy to pass the birthday. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's it's a little bit more subtle with energy within, moving within your body. So um, let's let's still keep on playing with it yet, just because it's not something that we uh, we do. Well, actually, it is something that we do every day. It's just that we don't pay attention to, to it. Because our, our body actually naturally move energy around. Otherwise, we won't be able to function. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, let's, let's uh, um, let me see. Um, let's try... just doing it more slowly. And maybe this time, let's just um, focus on, instead of moving energy down, let's focus from heart to um, Adam's apple area. Like I don't have, well, I don't have that. Like usually female don't have that, but that's the location that I'm talking about. So you can kind of know that there is a little, little bit of um, bump in your throat here. Okay, so let's start from the heart and then just breathe into your heart. Do that, just take a few breaths in and out with the intention of sending energy into your heart sending more energy into your heart and gathering energy there. And when you have, when you feel a little bit of weight on your heart, then send it to your Adam's apple. Really do it slowly. 
as much as you can. Feel the energy moving back into the midline, going up and all the way into that part of your body, your Adam's apple. And when it's, when the energy is, you think is at your Adam's apple, and take in a few more breaths there, just to increase the amount of energy in your Adam's apple area. So what I'm feeling is when I intentionally feel um, just breathe and bring more energy to Adam Sapo area, I actually feel it more. I can feel the that there is kind of a, uh, a gathering of energy there. Okay, so now let's... Is it likely, but it's... More, I get the burping. Throat comes up. Burping. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Different, different experience. Wonderful. Okay. So now, move the energy from your Adam's apple all the way into your third eye area. until you feel your third eye area seems like there's a bouch there. Anybody feeling that bouch underneath your, like around third eye area yet? Yes, very strong. Okay, cool. Compared with the other organs. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Not you? Oh, don't, don't. Okay, so don't stress it out. Just um, Oh, um, Tatiana, you don't have to keep putting your hand there. So just you just have to lightly tap it once and then you already know. Then you can just leave your hand out away from your third eye area and simply breathe into that area. Is that any better, Tatiana? Yeah, okay. much better. Okay, great. Um, the reason why I asked you to just use your hand to tap it is, is simply to, just to give you a, um, a visual or, a, or just a, a sensation of where the energy needs to go. So you don't have to keep it there. You just have to, just one tap and then you can let go. You, like you already know, your body can, can remember that. Okay, that's the location, your body knows. Okay, great. Everybody else seems to be able to do that? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Yeah, I can feel it in the center of the head. Okay, great. Now let's move energy from third eye all the way to the crown area. Crown area is if you follow the tip of your ears 
all the way to the top of your head. There is a kind of a little um, area that is where all the pieces of your skull comes together. And usually there is a little slight indentation. So that's, that's the crown. Okay, so you just have to touch it, find it and know exactly where it is. And now you can just send energy from your third eye into that area of your crown area. And just stay on the crown area and breathe more energy into it. So crown is okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. Wonderful. Good thinking if we put it on the subconscious, will it shut it down or which has the ego part? Shut it down? What do you mean yeah. shut it? Like shut the ego down. <laughs> this is this is not that kind of workshop. <laughs> 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 nice thought, <laughs> Rory. <laughs> this is not that kind of workshop. <laughs> <Nice Right. try. laughs> We're just playing with energy, okay? This is a play shop, so yeah. Let's 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 not try to judge whether the eagle is good or bad. We're just playing, okay? <laughs> okay. So now, um, what I want to do now is to actually move the energy from your crown all the way to um, the back of your neck. So the back of your neck, there is, there's a little bump there. Like I can feel it just right around this level at the back of my head. There's a bump there. So just move the energy I, I forgot what's the, uh, the acupuncture point that is. Occipital cast. Yeah. Okay. So just move the energy from your crown all the way back there. And, when, and then just breathe, take a few more breaths in there. Just feel the gathering of energy there. Okay, so far so good, everybody. Mm -hmm. From here, it's shooting in my spine. Shooting in your spine. Yeah, so I feel energy in my spine also. It's supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I felt a release, like I started yawning. Yeah, I, I feel all of a sudden like relax, <laughs> chill. <laughs> That's what I feel now. Like all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm done for the day. <laughs> okay, good. So let's move on. So from the back of your neck, just move the engine now into just um, between your shoulder blades. the back between your shoulder blades. 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to reach back there and, and touch it, but um, you, you kind of can imagine the show, your shoulder blades is right around where your heart is, but at the back. Okay, so everybody got that so far? Throw the blade. Feeling good? Same thing, I started yawning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now good. Now just allow the energy to go just from the back of between your shoulder blades, let it go back into your heart. And just stay in within your heart a few more times. Just breathe into your heart now. Okay, in your heart now. So what I want you to do is move energy from your heart down to your belly button, okay? From the heart, just move it into your belly button. Feel your belly button just filling up with energy. Okay, so far so good. Yep, good. Yes. Okay, now from belly button, the next one is called the pelvic floor, um, which is CV1. So it is just about half an inch in front of your anus. It is the, the beginning of a, um, your, one of the meridians. So it is... I, I call it the pelvic floor. It's kind of like the, the lowest part of your torso. And it's a, a start of a lot of energy. So move from your belly button all the way to just about half an inch in front of your anus. Just breathe in there when your energy reach there. Everybody there yet? It's half inch in front of the inner, so the back. In front. 
confirmed. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like the root chakra. Yep. Just feel energy gathering there. Okay. So let's move on. Now just move the energy from the CV1, which is the pelvic floor, move the energy there all the way over to the back, all the way to the back of your belly button. So you know where your belly button is? So just at the back back side of the belly button. Just move the energy from your pelvic floor all the way back there. And when it's there, you just boom, just breathe into that area. Okay, so I would um, carry on if anybody has any trouble getting there, let me know. Okay, now energy at the back of the belly button, just move it back up to just between your shoulder blades now. Now let's move on. between the shoulder blades, move energy up to the back of the neck where there is a bump. Move it up a little further up. And then now just move it up to your crown. And from your crown now, move it up, back down in front to where your third eye is. And just breathe a little bit into your third eye. Every time we go to a new location, just breathe it in two, three times. And now let's move from the third eye down to Adam's apple. And move it in front. And then to the neck where the Adam's apples. And then go down to the heart from Adam's apple all the way to the heart area. Okay. 
How's everybody doing now? That's good. You guys are Zen now yet? We're good. Whoa. <clears throat> Okay. Some area you feel the pulsation, some area you feel the heat, some organs you feel the, um, a little bit ticklish and some, yeah, it was good. I mean, like different sensations. Wow, excellent. Excellent. I yeah. notice all of that. Cool. Okay. Um, from So when I started moving from the belly button like backwards, so we're doing belly button and then to the pelvic floor and then to the back and then back to the front. So that is called microcosmic orbit or, or um, C for James in 3396, okay? So that's, that's a 3396. So we're just moving energy consciously now from front to back. Um, uh, that's why I, I felt very supported when we completed the orbit. <laughs> yeah. I, no, I it's feel explained. Yeah. I feel really hot now because, you know, really moving energy now within. So this time, um, I'm not going to call out all the points. So I think, um, so now you, you guys kind of know that this is going from front to back. There is also another one that's called 6693, which is from back to the front. Okay, so it's, um, it's a different channel within the body. However, um, we don't need, we don't actually need to know exactly what the points are, because even with the, 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 the microcosmic um, orbit, it's not about knowing exactly the points, just with the intention to move energy from front to back, your body already knows, because your body has been running those energy for you, um, like without you knowing for, for as long as you've been alive. So it already knows. Now, so, the reason why we're doing it is just so that we can, um, just, just so that we notice how it feels. Sorry, I cut you off. Is yeah, Vini, uh, I just feel hot, hot, hot. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. Um, that, that for me is like, okay, my energy hasn't been running very well <laughs> today. Now that I try to run it, it is so I can actually feel when when the energy is actually running, that's how I should be feeling. Instead of, you know, needing a long sleeve, I, I can actually go short sleeve now. So, so, so now let's do the 6693, which is from back to front. So I'm not gonna call the points, just, just set the intention you want to move energy from the back to the front, okay? So it's just a reverse. So just take a deep breath and let's just start from the heart. I, I like to work from the heart and then, um, or, or um, I think more um, specifically is the back of the heart. So let's, mm -hmm. uh, between the shoulder blades, let's just take a few breaths between the shoulder blades. And then just activate 6693. Let's feel the energy moving.
Okay, let's come back. Anybody has some, anybody does not feel anything? That's, that's, anybody have trouble feeling energy move? Okay. So how, How's the sensation after you have the 6693 running? But I don't feel hot like you guys. Everyone is different though. I don't feel hot. <laughs> but do you feel energy moving though from you? Yeah. Can I just make sure I got this right? Like I'm going from the back of my heart to the center of my shoulder blades to the, the like the neck up to the top of my skull to the front am i going in that kind of a, a circular kind of thing when you said backwards yeah, it is it is actually from the back of your so from between your shoulder blades, it's going down. It's, down. it's going the opposite way. Yeah, opposite direction. Okay, 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 yeah. But then it comes back to the heart or? Yeah, it does come, it comes back to the heart and then and goes you out again. Go back to the shoulder. You have to still go back to the starting point. Oh. Um, it it does not matter. Your the energy will do that way. Like I I'm just starting from a particular point. Okay. But it's actually continuous, so there really is no no start point and no mm -hmm. no end point. It it's continuous that energy. Like if if we actually our our, our energy center there's no blockage. That energy is running all the time. It's just that, you know, sometimes we hold tensions in our back, at the back or our shoulders. So it, it slows down. It, it kind of cuts that circulation down to smaller volume. But when we consciously move it up again, then we can actually feel that. Mm. Kind of like the Qigong breathing, because when we breathe in <clears throat> through the nostrils to the right and around the head, from the back of the spine up to the front, and that's the circular breath. But here we are stopping. That's, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't really done it. Um synchronize with the breath yet but you but we can do that like every time when we when we move is to synchronize it it's it's like if you if you do a more elongated breath then like each time you breathe in and out it's like your energy already circle in your body it moves much faster than than the than the speed that we have it now. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So I've got a song book here. Um, if uh, it's really beautiful, it's called "Awakening Healing Light." Um, I got it almost for about twenty years ago, but um, if you can see it here, or. Like, no. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, it's really, um, it's exactly what you're saying and what it's, um, 
it's, it's called Awakening Healing Light. For uh, Mantang and Machua, she, the light of the light, the light of the Tao. It's a really beautiful. Mantang here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He does the Qigong process. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Um, it's a really beautiful uh, book. It's almost about six hundred uh, pages. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe you can get it in the library. It's um, exactly what you are covering today. <laughs> it's a beautiful diagrams and okay yeah. cool <laughs> you just happen to have it right next to you absolutely <laughs> i mean like i had this book almost for the last uh 30 years yeah um Mantak Shia is um really famous and and i love his work too Okay, cool. Um, then the next thing I would like to do is um, go back to moving energy from, from organ to organ. And this time I actually want to kick it up a notch by giving you guys, um, so each organ has a frequency that it functions the um, optimal at. So what I want to do now in so in addition to moving energy is also now we are moving into um, not just increasing the, the, the amount of energy, but also being more specific about the quality of the energy that we are sending to that particular organ. Because the, the organ, if we send it a the the, the um, particular frequency that it functions um, the best in, then it actually will readjust itself faster. So we are kind of doing the, the quantity and the quality. We are focusing on quantity and quality of the energy that we're sending to that. So I just want to um, do a share screen now to let you guys know what the frequencies are. Okay, so not this one, but let me go to this one. Okay, so this is this is the uh, diagram of all the frequency of the different, or at least the, the major organs. Okay, so again, I would start from the heart, this... Let's, um, let's go to the heart first. And this time, um, set the intention that you want to have the frequency of energy going there to be one, two, six. Okay? So heart. So just breathe into your heart now. And set the intention that you want to send energy to your heart at the frequency of one, two, six. Just continue to breathe into your heart and Hold the intention to set frequency one, two, eight into your heart. So as you breathe into your heart, imagine more energy in the frequency of one, two, six. And it's going into your heart. Any questions so far? Anybody, everybody feeling okay? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you for letting me know. Now let's do stomach. 
Let's now move the energy from the heart into the stomach with the intention of sending the frequency of 132 into the stomach. And take a few more breaths here. One, three, two, frequency into the stomach. So my only experience is I kind of feel my stomach actually come open. It just naturally opens up. Same thing when I send the um, like one, two, six frequency into my heart, I feel my heart opening. And now I sent one, three, two into my stomach. I just feel my stomach opening. That's the description of the feeling that I feel in my stomach that I can say. So. When you say you feel open, what do you feel? I just feel, like, not that I have any trouble with my stomach, but all of a sudden I just feel comfortable in my stomach. I know it's, it's, it's hard to describe. It's just like I, I don't have any pain, nothing in my, no, um, nothing that draws my attention that tells me my stomach is not doing well. But when I put in one, three, two frequency, it just got better. <laughs> then I think that is just my, uh, my experience of it. It's so you all each have your own experience with it. And, um, when we've, we're done, then we can come back and, and share. But right now, I just want to keep going. Yeah. If there's no, no objection to that. So let's actually go to the spleen. So spleen is kind of um, to the left of the stomach. It's just right to the left of the stomach. It's where the spleenness. So spleen is also frequency 132. Breathe into your spleen and hold the intention to send frequency 132 to your spleen. Now that we are here, let's actually do, um, let's do colon then. Let's just move to the colon. Now colon is, um, wraps around, there is the, uh, let me just um, find the picture for the colon. Okay, there it is. So this is large intestine. 
so colon is all of this is the colon. So and the frequency is one o eight. So one zero eight. So just set the intention to breathe into your colon and send the frequency of 108 into your colon, all of your colon. Okay, let's um, let's switch to lungs. That seems lungs is next. So let's do the right lung first, and then we'll go to the left lung. Okay, so everybody, send energy to your right lung with the frequency of one two six. So as you breathe in, just focus more on your right lung and then send the frequency of one, two, six into your right lung. And just maybe do two, three breaths here. And now let's switch over to the left lung. So put focus on the left lung. Frequency is the same as one, two, six. Okay, so let's now, since we're on the left side of the body, so let's do the left kidney. So kidney, let me just um, show the diagram. Oops. Kidney is right behind the stomach and liver area. So, so left kidney. And the frequency is one, two, zero. So left kidney, six. Kind of behind the stomach area. One, two, zero. So let's stay on the kidney a little longer. It feels like um, everybody's kidney needs a bit more energy there. So let's stay on the left kidney first. And then let's take a few more breaths here before we switch over to the right one. It's frequency of one, two, zero. Yeah. 
Everybody's still doing okay? Yeah, good. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, let's switch over to the right kidney. I know we still need to do some work on the kidneys, but um, we can do that a little later on. So now let's switch over to the left, oh, sorry, to the right kidney now. So the same frequency, one, two, zero. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do the liver as well. Okay, so from the right kidney, now let's switch over to the liver, which is it's on the right side, the liver is on the right side, and just um, right side of the, to the right of the stomach area. So that's where the liver is, one zero eight frequency. So as you breathe in, bring in energy of the frequency 108 into your liver. Okay, let's, uh, let's come back and debrief first before we go any further. How's everybody doing? I felt right, right kidney. I need to work more. <laughs> I, I just felt when we were working on the kidneys, like the other parts of the um, body, not as much, but it's the kidneys, it's like everybody's <laughs> need to work on the kidneys. <laughs> like, why, why would that be? Um, there's a lot of, um, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's drawing on our energy, like all, everything that's going on is stressing us and it's drawing on our energy. And so our, our needs are really um, working over time. So that's why. Okay. Yeah, and, and also it's, uh, in the last few years, we consume a lot of toxics and that is uh, especially water and, and the kidneys are more uh, purifying for that sort of thing. So the kidney yeah. and the these are two that are really doing hard work. Yep. Plus all that, yeah. all that, um, you know, 
you have to be afraid, you have to, all yeah. that, it's, it's all, yeah. it's all hitting our kidneys, so yes. <laughs> Any, anybody wants to share anything that they felt with all uh, the frequencies? Yeah, I'm uh, saying the kidneys are the, collect the toxins, so it's better to drink lots of water and flush it out. Yeah. After, after meditation or healing, it's better mm -hmm. to drink lots of water. Yeah, because we are essentially water in the bag. <laughs> Plus a few other, you know, minerals and stuff. But <laughs> yeah. You know, Winnie, I just felt like really uh, taking your car to a mechanic for service. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a nice analogy. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm surprised that the heart isn't the highest vibration. That is. Um, I, I, okay, so these, the, the frequencies that are given is really for the material part, for the matter. Okay. Physical okay. body. <clears throat> Whereas we still have an energetic body. We have an energetic heart. So those are different frequencies, but for the okay. physical part. Okay. Those are the, the, the frequency that is going to... Um, just spontaneously uh, um, would heal the that particular body part. Okay. Okay, wonderful. I actually still have something else I want to talk about tonight, but you know what? I really think that um, that's something I need to to go over to the um, um, move that to next week because. I think we need some healing. <laughs> we need some, you know, a bit more healing. <clears throat> Plus, I don't want to um, go over time or pack too much in because this this already, if you if you practice doing this, and um, maybe once or twice during the week, doing the the moving your energy like three three. Um, 3396 and 6693 so from front to back and back to front those two plus you know going through each of the the, um, the organs with the right frequency for them um, you would already feel a difference in your body so enough for this week okay any any questions any questions so far no more do you, do you have the chart for the other organs like the eyes and uh, ears and um no i don't um, unfortunately um yeah eyes would be a good one to have maybe yeah. i need to um look around and, and maybe ask sifu james if, to see if uh, yeah he would share something like that with us <clears throat> The other thing is we can also, um, or, or that's something that um, maybe I can just do a dowsing, mm. just find a number. It may not be 100% um, correct, but it would be something that we can experiment with. So, Do you think he would have a number for healing cataracts? <laughs> I don't know. You might. <laughs> I don't know. We won't know until we ask. So yes, it's just send this energy like this to your eyes. Just yeah. Like energy. Yeah. Move it to your eyes too. Right. You can move the energy there. Yeah, we can definitely move energy to the to the eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be the Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's see what else. Any any other questions? If not, then well, let's do a uh, group healing again. No question, but um, uh, thank you very much. I have to go because my son is uh, behind, but it, I felt very good. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for yeah. joining us anyways. Yeah, thank you. Okay. See you next time. See Good you. Night. Good night. Bye. Bye, 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 everyone. Bye bye. Bye, Odin. I bye, have a question. Yes. yes you Sophia. said we can move energy to the eye. Can we move energy to get rid of bags under eyes? Absolutely. You can move energy anywhere. Okay, so that's um so any any other question? Okay, in that case I'm gonna stop.